no cash. And if you have to work along we're gonna go with uh, <laughs> my first of very excited the cookie stroll this is the peppermint swirl cookie which I already know this is going to be a desert in my mouth but it smells very pepperminty horrendous it's probably the worst cookie I've ever had in my entire life I don't know. I probably have worse cookies, but this is a horrible cookie. It is dry as a bone. The mint is there, but this is really bad. Like, really, really bad. Point one. It's, it's edible, but barely by that much. So I was trying to take a video, but I turned it off. We are cookie number two of the cookie stroll. This is the Linzer cookie, which I'll tell you, I cheated and had this already at Contempo Cafe. It looks identical. Uh, it's either, I think it's raspberry jam that's inside, but it basically tastes like a hyped up Pop-Tart. And the cookie's normally really dry, and it is, but there's so much jam that it balances it. And they coat it with so much sugar, it almost is like got this snowball powdered sugar brightness and then that rich berry jamminess to just round out that that shortbread which I got a hair in my mouth Ugh. I don't know if that's mine gross if it was all the cookie <laughs> this is, hey man it's the life of a cookie stroller you gotta deal with hairs you gotta deal with linzers what does linzer even mean it's Bavarian all right so I love this cookie I just wish it wasn't as dry on the actual cookies, but like the jam really does balance it out. So I'm gonna go a 3.2 on it. Hi! <laughs> What's going on? We were, he was like, it was so funny because I said something about his backpack again. And I was like, kind of like here outside of. Caramel Kucha, I got the uh, the gingerbread salted caramel cookie, which this thing is a monster, and it looks more like a chip witch, like an ice cream sandwich, but this is not ice cream. This is just caramel, ooh, you can see on the side like a big drip of caramel on that. Okay, yes, everything about this, yes, you guys should try this. It is very soft well-spiced gingerbread cookies with a great chew and like a cream cheese thicker icing with caramel inside mm -hmm. I really like this I would definitely get it again and I think this is a holiday special because it is gingerbread not on the cookie stroll it should be because this is the best cookie I've had on the cookie stroll so interesting I'm going a very solid 3.8 on this. Definitely would get it again. We are cookie strolling here at the American Pavilion and this time it is the crinkle cookie. So this is a chocolate crinkle cookie it smells very Dutch cocoa. And there's, we have by us in uh, the Philadelphia area, it's a cookie company that's called Archway. It's really good, really soft cookies. And this kind of reminds me of that in terms of texture. And what's cool about crinkle cookies is they break apart when you actually cook them. So they're completely coated in that powdered sugar and then they break <laughs> apart and create all those crevices in the cooking process. So that's why they're called crinkle cookies, but I don't know if they are an American invention, but here we are, American Pavilion, giving it up. Okay, so consistently, dryness and softness have been the biggest impacting factors on the cookies so far on the cookie stroll. To me, this is actually pretty fudgy and almost looks slightly like a brownie texture. Still dry, but in comparison to like the peppermint swirl, which was horrendous. And then the 
Linzer cookie, which is also a little bit dry, this is a very nice departure. I like it. I like that fudginess. I like that cookie. I'm gonna give it a 3.1. That's good. So interesting turn of events here at the Artisan de Glace. I say I'm not French and I'm terrible at French, but they had an issue with my um, payment. They triple charged me, so I'm sitting and hanging. So I'm going to do some reviews. Cookie stroll time. This is from Lahine. This is their black and white cookie, which has uh, the cast member told me was very lemony. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It is super thick and super hard. I don't know what to expect. The chocolate and the vanilla icing are good, but the center is just, it's too dense and dry. Like this is a common theme with the cookies here, on well, the cookie straw, all of them. Super dense, super, super dry. So on the black and white cookie, I'm not really getting the citrus on it and it's too dry for, for my preference. I'm gonna give it a, uh, I'm gonna go 1.6, yikes. All right, so here we are in the World Show Place, which is a really cool spot that they opened up as a convention center and then now put a bunch of booths in it. So here is a tropical eggnog called Coquito, and it has a cinnamon stick in it. And from what I gathered online, uh, I've always wanted to try to make this. This is, this is a Puerto Rican recipe that has like coconut in it or coconut milk. cinnamon sticks getting in the way. It's very thick, like the texture is. Extremely cinnamon, which is masking. If there is coconut in here, I just don't really get it. And then I almost get like a grittiness from that gingerbread as well. I just, I don't know. I am not, this is not doing it for me. It's too cinnamon. There's way too much cinnamon and it's like herbaceous almost and, and texturally gritty. So for this guy, Ooh, I, I gotta go like a 1.1. There's a lot more. So this one, you know what? I'm not gonna get to that one. Save the prettier cookie for next to last. This is like a little jar of cookies. They're called snowballs and it's only 250, including this little jar. I don't know what they are. They just smell like bread and flour. A lot of powdered sugar on top. Oh my God. The only flavors I get are butter, sugar, and flour. And the proportions are definitely not right and they're overbaked. So this to me is just a dry mess. Shocker, the cookies are dry. Not good, point four. But they were cheap, luckily. All right, pretty cookie time. This is from, they call it Holiday Hearth, Help Holiday Hearth. This is a Spaceship Earth Caramel Salted Sandwich Cookie. Really cool. Lots of granulated sugar, 
has little holly icing texture on the top. The the little sandwich cookie section, although it's it doesn't seem like it's a lot, and the cookie seems identical to the Linzer style cookie from Bavaria. So I am worried about the same exact issue of dryness. Ooh, this is a break. This is like a this is a break moment. That's way softer. Interesting. And the cookies themselves are different colors. This one is like more of like a cocoa chocolate and this is more of a vanilla. And then the caramel is pretty hard in the center, but it's a salted caramel. Dry, yes, but texture, soft. You get chocolate, you get vanilla, and you get the, the caramel. I don't get salted because the granulated sugar just overpowers it because it's all over the top of that cookie. And then now I get like a deep cocoa on the back end. All right, it's cute, it's Instagram, still kind of a mess. I'm gonna give it a 1.8. And then this is the last, very, very happy, let me show you the stamps, cause this is the Festival of the Holidays booklet and all the way, it has all the booths in here, but all the way at the end, when you flip to the back, this is the holiday cookie stroll locations. So the Linzer cookie in Bavaria, the chocolate Kringle cookie in the American Pavilion, the black and white cookie at Lachaim, the uh, gingerbread cookie over at Festival Favorites, which is here, and then the peppermint swirl, which was at Yukon Holiday Kitchen, and then how cool are those stamps? So peppermint swirl, the Linzer cookie. So it looks, all the stamps look like the cookies, the black and white cookie, the crinkle cookie, the gingerbread, and then this one is for the Minnie Mouse peppermint completer cookie, and they give you actually milk. And Nick cracked me up from Parking Op Duo. He said, dude, they should have given you the milk to begin with, because all the cookies are so dry. He ain't fooling. Here's the last cookie of the cookie stroll. Let's go, finish him off. I'm gonna bite his head off, because that's how I feel after this stroll. There was only, the crinkle cookie was the only acceptable good cookie. I might even dunk him. Let me guess. Dry. This one not as spicy. So we had a uh, gingerbread sandwich cookie, salted caramel at Caramel Kucha, and that was delicious. That was the best cookie here that we tried all day. Crinkle cookie would probably be my second favorite. It's so hard for homeboy, headless homeboy, to even compare because that cookie's so good. Um, I'm glad I finished it because it was a fun thing and it's affordable. Every single cookie's 250. Since we're annual pass holders, at after seven o'clock, they give you a discount. So it ends up being 225 for each cookie and you get an extra cookie and milk at the end. So gingerbread cookie, I'm gonna give him, sadly, 1.1, wah wah. But I'm still having a lot of fun. How you doing? I'm very excited. Are you? Completed. <laughs> I feel accomplished. Enjoy. Thank you so much. So I think it's fitting to finish our cookie stroll. Let's go. <laughs> the cookie stroll, let me just tell you, it's a fun experience. It's not a great culinary experience, but it's a fun experience. And it's not a costly experience, because each cookie is 250. We got our completer cookie here. This is a Minnie Mouse peppermint cookie. And it looks like it's just kind of like really icing on top of this shortbread. It smells minty, and the shortbread icing is pretty thick. It's pretty dense. It's soft. And they didn't give me any milk, which I was surprised by. I thought they were supposed to get milk. She's nice and chewy, but like everything else, still the dryness. 
but this is like my metal. The mint is like, it's not fondant, but it kind of feels like fondant. It really does. Huh. The uh, Epcot Christmas tree is dope. Really cool. Fantasy of the Holidays is, it's my first time experiencing it. I'd love to come back every time. I love all of the lights up. I've seen Magic Kingdom like this, but not Epcot. Very, very cool. Cookie Stroll, let's go. 2.3, that was fun.